Hello old chaps, and happy April Fool's Day, and welcome to Let's Play The Great Gatsby. As opposed to giving you some type of piece of false information like most people would, or uh, a self-parody, and I don't think I'm big enough to parody myself yet, let's play a game. I think it's what I do best, or something, I'm not sure. The goal of the game? Go right. As for the plot, well right now we're looking for Gatsby. The rest of it, I'll let you figure out yourself, because this is an NES game and NES games have no storyline. Or at least any dis discernible one. Of course there was a book, if you didn't know this was a book, or based on a book. But watch out for these, uh, these butlers. They'll beat you up. Not sure why. But man, these butlers are out with blood. No, uh, consecutive bees to be mint. Of course you always want coins. And whenever you see an enemy, tip your hat to it. Show it through the boss. It's always good. You know, you would think if Gatsby has parties like every weekend, he would either have the same guest or the same butlers over, or new butlers every time. So I guess since he usually throws big parties, uh, well, I guess he buys the crappiest butlers possible. That's why they're just out to get you. So are these flappers, but that's okay. They just want to do the Charleston and. Well, it's not their fault, they just wanted to do the Charleston. Am I right? Am I right? And of course, we, if you haven't noticed, these golden... The golden hats give you the golden hat power-up. <laughs> Actually, the only power-up in the game, I believe. Um, if you get hit like that, like an idiot, you will lose the golden hat. But if you keep it, your hat will fly farther. Yeah, these brown suits make my, uh, make my hat feel tiny and small and... Unmanly. Watch out for these chandeliers, they're falling on your head. And if you lose all three pieces of your life, well, you'll die. And dying isn't good. But now we've found Gatsby, and then something happens. But I'll let you figure that out on your own. Welcome to Stage 2, Valley of the Ashes. Now we're on a train. Well, it's a train going through the Valley of Ashes, but, uh, you know. As for why you're here, well, once again, I'll let you figure that out, as I have no intention on telling you what actually happens. It's fun. But what I do want you to do, go to the comments and make up your own plot. Write some great Gatsby fanfiction. Maybe these, uh, these here birds are out for revenge because, uh, Nick killed their mother and, like, raped their father or something. Or, uh, Nick is actually, like, Bird Hitler or something. <laughs> hmm. And if you haven't noticed, the dragon's name is Nick, if you didn't know. His name is the Gatsby. Gatsby's another character. Read a book, kids. Read a goddamn book. Alright, now for the first boss. A giant pair of eyes! Darn it. Yeah, I, I bet you thought this was symbolism, didn't you? Nope. They actually meant literal giant eyes. Now what you do here, when it swings to the left, go to the right and throw your hat at it. But do it every other time because it will go all the way to the end of the screen. So it won't, you know, uh, turn back around to hit you uh, after, while you're still in the air. Okay, Carton, that for some reason my uh my capturing device just has such a hard time capturing the sound of that for some reason. That's why it sounds kinda garbly. But now we're in New York. For some reason. It's gonna be fun. I think. Maybe. New York Adventures. It's kinda like old York, but uh new. Jump in so we to find a drink. While I do like drinking, Nick is definitely one hell of a drinker. 
And you know, you can't just go to a bar because, you know, prohibition. But what you can do is sell booze and make a fortune! But watch out for these, uh... Watch out for these miners. They just got off work and man are they angry about, uh... Being miners, because being a miner at the time would suck with, uh, having black lung. It's not a fun disease to have. I've never had it. Don't have experience with having black lung, but I'd imagine I don't want it. Jump over, grab the hat. I, don't, I thought there was something over here, but I guess I was wrong. But now we're in the sewers. Now, where are those drinks? Or maybe we need to look for them. Well, watch out for these rats. Just toss your hat and you should hit them. As for the alligators, well, don't... Well, look before you jump. They like to do the, uh... The Mega Man enemy thing, where they'll pretend like there's nothing there, but really it's an alligator coming out to get you. So I guess the stereotypes aren't true after all. Alligators can jump. No, but now we're in here, so I guess the drinks are in here. You can tell because of the giant barrel back there. Ooh, money. Not that points ever matter. And these, uh, these monster guys are guarding the beer, or something. Watch out, jump over the bullets. Or else they'll shoot you. You don't want to get shot in the head, it's not a fun thing to do. Unless you like, you know, dying, or that'll get you off. Shoot this one last guy. Wait for this guy to come back around, jump over and get the hat. There's a boss coming up, although it's very easy. There are seven guys, or eight actually. Kill them all. And then you win. A win rar is you. Feel good about yourself. Welcome to the final stage, New Ed Beach. Watch out for these crabs, if you hit them with your hat, well they'll die. And watch out for these gas legions here. They really want you dead, just like them. They're envious of your life, kick their ass. Watch out for more of these crabs, and don't fall on the pit or else you will, you will die. You dare bring not solid ground into my lair? And again, these fish like to pull a Mega Man enemy. But watch out, because this is the last level, and you don't want to die on the last level. Jump over, and you have to win the game. No final boss, you just win. So, we beat all eight Robot Masters, defeated Chaos, stopped the time loop, uh, defeated Ganon, and did some other stuff too. Wait, no, that's the wrong game. Well, we won. I guess. This is a very easy game, and a hell of a lot of fun, I, su I suggest you actually try it. And if you'll notice, um, a lot of the names here are actually named of completely other people who worked on different things. But, you know pretty great. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you did too. And I will see you next time on Let's Play, well, not the Great Gatsby that we just want, but something else, probably. Yeah.